Hi. So in this video, I'd like to show you a little Python program I wrote. Actually, I borrowed some of the code. I found it. Um, it was published on LinkedIn, and I need to make sure that in YouTube that I'll give credit to uh, where I did get some of this code, and I made some changes to it. But anyway, this is using the command called netstat. Uh, so the, the command in netstat, whoop, clear, there we go, netstat-nal. This is going to show my current connections, my IPv4 and IPv6 connections. And by the way, yes, uh, there's a lot of IPv6 out there. You'll see that most of the stuff, I'm a Xfinity Comcast customer, and most of the things I connect to are connected over IPv6. So anyway, let me hit enter here. And you probably said, well, where's all look at all this stuff? Let me even screw up even further. Let's see, keep going here. Uh, let me do this, probably faster if I just did this here. There, oh my goodness, a lot of stuff, huh? So uh, this is kind of hard to read, okay? Uh, and I'm not gonna go through all this, but there's a lot of good information here. Uh, so let me show you the Python code that takes this same output, but presents it in a way that's a little bit more readable for us, a little bit more understandable. So here's my code. Again, I'll give the GitHub repository the link to that on YouTube in the comment section or wherever that is there. So uh, let me go ahead and run this program. So I'm going to give myself plenty of room here because... And you can see it's quite small here because you can see there's a lot of output here. All right. Ask me, do I want AS information? That's autonomous system information. I'm going to say why for yes. The default is no. It's going to ask me, do I want the uh, uh, geolocation information for the autonomous systems? I'll put why for yes. Okay. So it's going to take just a couple of seconds here for it to produce this output for us. And just about there. Now you're gonna see here in a moment that it's gonna format it in a much better way that we can see it. All right, so here we go right here. So what it's showing me right now is uh, both IPv4 and IPv6. So let me make that a little bigger here. There we go. Uh, so you'll notice this is my source IPv4 address, my source IPv6 address. Here are my various source ports, okay? So this is actually my the socket, the source port socket. And here's the, the, the client socket. And here's the destination socket, the other uh, socket. A destination IP address, destination port. You can see, yes, a lot of IPv6. Normally, it's actually more IPv6 than IPv4. So it kind of surprises me that there's so much IPv4 here. But one of the things I want you to notice, it looks like Rick is connected a lot to Microsoft, uh, my, you know, a lot to Microsoft, uh, a lot to Amazon. Uh, so you can see my Zoom right here. <laughs> Microsoft, Cloudflare, Microsoft, Cloudflare, Google, 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 Google. Well, some of this is because what I'm connected to is their cloud service. Uh, not that I'm connect doing anything on, I am doing some things with Google, of course, but uh, some of this is because whatever service or uh, I am uh, uh, connected with is using their cloud service. So you can see that that's what a lot we're going to see here. Uh, you know, if I go to if I connect to Cabrillo's website, for example, uh, I'm not going to see Cabrillo College over here. What I'm going to do is see the cloud service provider. OK, so that's actually what I'm seeing. All right, uh, and this is what I mean by the AS information here, the organization, the city, the country. Uh, this, these are the autonomous systems that are hosting uh, whatever service I'm connected to. So I like to show this just to show students that, yes, you're connected to many things at once. And especially we like to show that, you know, here where we start talking about source IP addresses, destination IP address, of course, it's my IP address, but different destination IP addresses. Okay. And also we start talking about TCP and UDP ports. So you'll notice here a protocol, I have both 
IPv4 TCP, IPv4 UDP, IPv6 TCP, and IPv6 UDP. So IPv4 and IPv6 as my network layer and TCP or UDP as my transport. But again, showing what's also very important over here is the autonomous systems. Again, what I mean by that is this is who is hosting that service. So uh, like I was saying, if you go to, if I go www.cabrillo.edu, I am not necessarily, I am not going to see Cabrillo College here. I'm going to see, I believe we use AWS to host that. So I just cleared the screen because I'm actually going to show you. So here I am, my Cabrillo, here's the Cabrillo website. Just going to hit refresh there. Okay, there we are. Right. And I'm going to then uh, run this again. Say yes and yes. Give it a second here. All right, I paused the recording there so you didn't have to wait for it, but I'm gonna show you where Cabrillo is. Now, where do I know where Cabrillo is? All right, so I used a little dig command here, dig, give me the quad A record. This is maybe more than you're ready for depending on where you are in my class, but that's okay. This means give me the IPv6 address for www.cabrillo.edu. And this is actually the, the address we're gonna see here, right there. Where is that? So I'll uh, move that out of the way just a little bit. But you can see it right here, 2600, 1F1, 1F1C446, uh, 4900, double colon 64. Hey, okay, Amazon. So when I go to Cabrillo's webpage, I'm not going, it's, the web server is not at Cabrillo College. It's being hosted by Amazon. And that's basically what I wanted to show here. Okay, is that that's the all these Googles and Amazons that you see here are basically because most of the sites that I go to, if not all of them, are being hosted by some cloud organization. There's some others. I mean, Zoom, you can see my Zoom there and probably a couple of other things as well. All right. Hope you found this uh, video uh, a little interesting, a little useful. Um, and we'll be talking more about this, port numbers and all this stuff and uh, during my classes. Have a great day.